The day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, February 9, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Minnesota Timberwolves vs Sacramento Kings The Sacramento Kings are averaging 109.5 points on 45.4% shooting and allowing 114.5 points on 47.5% shooting. Darren Fox is averaging 21 points and 3.8 rebounds, while Harrison Barnes is averaging 16.8 points and 6.1 rebounds. Buddy Heald is the third double-digit scorer, and Therese Halliburton is grabbing 3.9 rebounds. The Sacramento Kings are shooting 34.3% from beyond the arc and 75.5% from the free-throw line. The Sacramento Kings are allowing 35.9% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.8 rebounds per game. There won't be much of a turnaround for these teams as tip-off here is less than 24 hours after the conclusion of Tuesday's contest. With that said, you have to think that Minnesota has more cohesion in their rotation at this point, given the pending deal with Indiana that will impact the Sacramento rotation. Minnesota went into Tuesday with four straight victories and have pushed past the .500 mark on the season while nipping at the heels of the Nuggets for the final guaranteed playoff spot. The Kings may make a push down the stretch, but trying to integrate pieces on the fly here works against them. Our first betting pick is Minnesota Timberwolves minus 5. The Kings enter this game 13th in the league in scoring offense with an average of 109.5 points per game. Sacramento is 22nd in rebounding with 43.8 boards a contest, while the team stands 22nd by handing out an average of 23.2 assists per contest. The Kings are 29th in scoring defense as they allow an average of 114.5 points a night. Darren Fox leads the team with 21 points plus 5.2 assists a night on the year. Harrison Barnes, 16.5 points, 6 rebounds, and Buddy Heald, 14.9 points, are solid scoring options as well. Rich on Holmes, 12.3 points, 8.1 boards, Marvin Bagley 3, 9.4 points, 7.1 boards, and Demantis Sabanis are each secondary scoring options. The Kings also have Davian Mitchell, Terrence Davis, Chimizy Medu, Lewis King, Justin Holiday, Jeremy Lamb, Alex Len, Maurice Harkless and Damian Jones to lean on in their rotation. Sacramento is 18th in field goal percentage by shooting 45.4% from the floor as a team on the year. The Kings are 20th by knocking down an average of 11.7 three-pointers a night, while they are 21st by knocking down 34.3% of their attempts from beyond the arc this season. Davis is out with a wrist injury that required surgery and is likely done for the year. Fox, ankle, and Bagley 3, ankle, were questionable Tuesday so watch for any change in status here. For the year, Minnesota is 6th in the league in scoring offense with 112.4 points per game. The Timberwolves stand 13th in rebounding by pulling down 45.1 boards a contest, while they are 10th in assists by handing out 24.8 dimes a contest. Minnesota has struggled on the defensive end of the floor as they are 19th in scoring defense by allowing 110.7 points per game. Carl Anthony Towns leads the team as he averages 24.3 points while grabbing 9.6 rebounds and handing out 3.9 assists a night. Malik Beasley puts up 12.3 points a night, while D'Angelo Russell contributes 18.9 points and 6.9 assists per game. Last year's first overall pick, Anthony Edwards, 22.2 points, Jalen Nowell and Nas Reed, 8.2 points, 3.9 rebounds, are reliable scoring options. Josh Okogie, Jake Lehman, Jaden McDaniels, Torian Prince, Jared Vanderbilt and Jordan McLaughlin are part of the rotation. The Timberwolves are 24th in the league in field goal percentage as they hit 44.6% from the floor as a team. Minnesota is third by splashing 14.3 three-pointers a night, while the team is 19th in three-point shooting by hitting 34.7% from beyond the arc. Beaverly, Ankle, Okogie, Quad, Reed, Knee, Russell, Shin, and Prince, Ankle, were all questionable Tuesday, while McKinley Ride IB, Knee, was out. Keep an eye out for any updates on their statuses for this game. Our second betting pick under 234.5. Golden State Warriors at Utah Jazz. 
the Golden State Warriors are averaging 110.9 points on 46.8% shooting and allowing 102.6 points on 42.9% shooting. Stephen Curry is averaging 25.9 points and 6.3 assists, while Leandro Wiggins is averaging 18.2 points and 4.3 rebounds. Jordan Poole is the third double-digit scorer, and Klay Thompson is grabbing 3.5 rebounds. The Golden State Warriors are shooting 36.3% from beyond the arc and 76.4% from the free-throw line. The Golden State Warriors are allowing 33% shooting from deep and are grabbing 46.4 rebounds per game. Golden State already beat Utah twice this season, and I believe the Jazz will do everything in their power to avoid the third defeat. They were close two weeks ago when the Warriors won 94-92 in San Francisco, where Utah was without Mitchell, concussion. This time around, they have Donovan on the court but will be without the Defensive Player of the Year, Gobbert. Hassan Whiteside and Yudoka Azebuk, three consecutive games with 10-plus rebounds, are not as good as Gobbert but are solid interior defenders, so the hosts should be covered in the paint. Golden State is very dangerous from the perimeter, and they are moving the ball exceptionally well, so there is no doubt we will have another interesting H2H clash that could go either way. The Utah Jazz are averaging 113.6 points on 47.2% shooting and allowing 107.6 points on 45.2% shooting. Donovan Mitchell is averaging 25.5 points and 5.2 assists, while Bojan Bogdanovic is averaging 17.9 points and 4.3 rebounds. Rudy Gobbert is the third double-digit scorer, and Jordan Clarkson is dishing 2.4 assists. The Utah Jazz are shooting 36.1% from beyond the arc and 78% from the free-throw line. The Utah Jazz are allowing 34.2% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.9 rebounds per game. Our first betting pick is the Jazz. The Utah Jazz couldn't get separation from the New York Knicks until the final 12 minutes to book a 113-104 home win. Quinn Snyder's side won the fourth quarter by 13 points, as its defense allowed just 18 to the Knicks. The hosts kept the visitors to 37.9% from the floor and 24.2% from beyond the arc. Utah covered a minus 6.5 spread, the second time in a row they managed to cover to improve to a 23-31 ATS record. The Golden State Warriors displayed a solid defensive performance in a 110-98 road victory over the Oklahoma City Thunder. It was the first time in six games they managed to keep the rivals to under 100 points. Golden State won the second quarter by 13 points, which pretty much decided the tilt. They shot 50.0% from the field and had 30 assists opposite the Thunder's 21. The Warriors couldn't cover a minus 12 spread, push, the second straight game they failed to cover, but they still have a positive 29-21 for a TS record. Our second betting pick is over the total. Los Angeles Lakers vs Portland Trail Blazers. The Los Angeles Lakers made quite a few changes to their roster in 2022, and so far it hasn't paid off. In their last game against Milwaukee, they were led by Lebron James, who had a triple-double as he had 29 points, 13 rebounds, and 10 assists. Malik Monk also chipped in with 29 points, while Anthony Davis had 18 points and 17 rebounds. The Portland Trail Blazers are averaging 107.8 points on 44.9% shooting and allowing 112.3 points on 47.4% shooting. Anthony Simons is averaging 15.8 points and 2.7 rebounds, while Joseph Nurkic is averaging 14.5 points and 2.7 assists. Ben McLemmer is grabbing 1.5 rebounds, and Nasser Little is grabbing 5.6 rebounds. The Portland Trail Blazers are shooting 35.5% from beyond the arc and 76% from the free throw line. The Portland Trail Blazers are allowing 37% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.7 rebounds per game. Portland traded CJ McCollum, Larry Nance Jr., and Tony Snell to New Orleans for Josh Hart, Tomas Daransky, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Didi Lozada, and draft picks, which is a massive change for the organization. Against Milwaukee, Portland was led by Ben McLemmer who dropped 19, and Anthony Simmons also had 19 points. Our first betting pick is to pick Los Angeles Lakers minus 6.5. The Portland Trail Blazers are averaging 107.8 points on 44.9% shooting and allowing 112.3 points on 47.4% shooting. Anthony Simons is averaging 15.8 points and 2.7 rebounds, while Joseph Nurkic is averaging 14.5 points and 2.7 assists. Ben McLemmer is grabbing 1.5 rebounds, and Nasser Little is grabbing 5.6 rebounds. The Portland Trail Blazers are shooting 35.5% from beyond the arc and 76% from the free throw line. 
The Portland Trailblazers are allowing 37% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.7 rebounds per game. The Los Angeles Lakers are averaging 110.9 points on 46.4% shooting and allowing 112.3 points on 45.4% shooting. LeBron James is averaging 29.1 points and 7.8 rebounds, while Anthony Davis is averaging 23.7 points and 10.2 rebounds. Russell Westbrook is the third double-digit scorer, and Carmelo Anthony is grabbing 4.2 rebounds. The Los Angeles Lakers are shooting 34.8% from beyond the arc and 72.9% from the free-throw line. The Los Angeles Lakers are allowing 34.4% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.9 rebounds per game. Our second betting pick is over the total. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.